Up next, have you ever dreamed of being a world-class chef? Or do you just like to eat like one? Either way, you're gonna love this next story. Let's head down to Miami and a university that is training the next generation of great chefs. Ever wonder if culinary arts school might be kind of like a high school cooking class from back in the 1960s? This isn't your grandma's home at class. With spotless state-of-the-art cooking labs and cutting-edge technology, a student at Johnson & Wales will get an incredible hands-on experience. Here at the Miami campus, I have 17 different labs, and um, as you tour around the, the campus, you'll see uh, an array of different um, courses going on. Everything from stock soups and sauces to uh, international cuisine, and, and that gets into all the products of, from all around the world. An accredited university with programs including culinary arts, hospitality, technology, health sciences, and business. Johnson & Wales has schools in Providence, Rhode Island, Charlotte, North Carolina, Denver, Colorado, and North Miami, Florida. The school teaches cooking, but it also teaches so much more. If you want to be a sous chef, you can be the best sous chef ever. If you want to be a pastry chef, obviously you're going to learn the techniques that you need to be one of the a world-renowned pastry chef. You could be a, a private chef for a rock star, you could be a, a, a corporate chef for a major corporation, or you could learn how to operate your own restaurant like I did. Being able to cook isn't all there is to running a successful restaurant. Johnson & Wales has that one class that I used to hate, but it's the most valuable class ever, and that's menu planning because that will show you how to make a cost-effective menu. Something else that is unique about the school is its edible gardens. Well, when we opened 21 years ago here, we, we started implementing within our landscape uh, some of the edible components with the um, coconut palms, with uh, tamarind trees, with uh, date palms. Uh, and over the years, we've been adding to, and, and, and over the last uh, two to three years, we've really um, uh, incorporated a lot of uh, more species into the, into the landscape. It's all about farm to table freshness. And I think the school did a phenomenal thing by doing this garden. It's been also quite interesting because we got a global diversity of tropical plants in here, edibles, fruits in particular. So it was fascinating to see some of the things like chocolate. It's something that is very rarely grown in South Florida, let alone in a disturbed urban soil. We started our garden here in school and a few weekends ago we planted tomatoes and I actually, um, with tomatoes and peppers, we went through, I took out the seeds, dried them out, and then a few weekends ago we planted them. We planted radishes, corn, and they just started sprouting. I water them every day. <laughs> <laughs> and for seven seasons, students have had a chance to volunteer at an organic farm. They set up the tables, they interact with the chefs, they serve the hors d'oeuvres, they bust the tables, they interact with the customers, and um, it's just been this wonderful relationship that's been ongoing, and it feels like we couldn't do the dinners without them now and they learn about extraordinary produce. This is our baby greens, this is our salad mix, and this is, um, we call it our baby brassica blend. It's mizuna, arugula, several different kinds of mustard, red Russian kale. And they also learn about incredible edible flowers. Back at school, they try the same type of thing. It's all about teaching farm to table freshness. We try to teach the students that um, if you were preparing something, it shouldn't come out of a package. You, we picked up from the garden and try to give the freshest product possible. For Emily, it's baking and pastry that tapped into her creative spirit. You can take a week or two to do this magnificent cake and just go all out with it and it's crazy and artistic and intricate. When you do the screwed dough, you, it's, it's essential to get this good in development. I thought that Baking and pastry would give me a really fantastic creative outlet while still supplying me with a stable job that I earned, you know, a steady income from. For Ruben, it was service, the front of the house that he wanted to learn. Most people think about culinary arts and they thought about the cooking. We have another, some other classes. We have a meat, cl uh, meat lab class where butchery is learned. Uh, we have front of the house classes, which personally is my favorite. And when they finish, 
you can tell the students are prepared for just about anything. And they loved the experience. For me, it's been one hell of a ride. It's been great.